so beautiful out there today. And I just love this live picture out of Yosemite. You can just see the peak out there and a little cloud cover out there, but overall a gorgeous day. But very windy here in the county. We are tracking some wind speeds, 12 miles per hour in Mojave, 15 in Tehachapi. So not as severe as we saw earlier, but those winds are expecting to stick around throughout the weekend. We are in a high wind warning, and that is from the National Weather Service. We upgraded from a, a high wind advisory to a warning, so definitely severe until 5 a.m. on Tuesday, and that includes our mountains and our desert cities. So, what can we expect from this? Well, winds will be out of the west at about 25 to 45 miles per hour, gusts up to 75 miles per hour. We reached 63 in Mojave earlier today. Uh, uh, locations include Highway 58 and Highway 14, so if you are traveling in the area, please be careful. Also, we will see some blowing dust in the area as well, and that will reduce visibility. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're traveling in the area this weekend. But overall, a gorgeous day. Right now we're sitting at 74 degrees, humidity at 27 percent, and satellite map shows us some light clouds in the area. Those should be lingering throughout the evening and then clearing up by tomorrow. And as you can see from this storm's map, we are tracking a low pressure system. It's a weak system and it's mostly going to head to the north of us as always, but we could see a chance for some sprinkles tomorrow night around 11 p.m. As you can see from this future cast, we will start to see those clouds roll in tomorrow night and then as you can see Monday around 2 a.m. is when we'll start to see our best rain chances in the area and then should be clearing out for the rest of the week. So air quality will be in the good range tomorrow. Definitely a great day to get outside if you can. And like I said, Yosa, or Lake Tahoe rather, we'll see 54 degrees with some rainy conditions and even some snow. It's 47 degrees in Yosemite and 66 degrees in Sacramento. Central Coast is also looking gorgeous out there tomorrow. We'll see 73 degrees in Solving, 77 in Santa Barbara, and 70 in Ventura with partly cloudy skies. And neighbors to the south of us can't complain either. We'll see a few clouds around Disneyland, but still seeing 75 degrees and 74 in LA with partly cloudy skies. Here we'll see 54 degrees tonight with partly cloudy skies as well. Winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the northwest. And valley forecast, beautiful tomorrow. We're seeing 70s all across the board, hitting 72 in Arvin and 71 in Porterville with your overnight lows in those low 50s. So gorgeous night tomorrow night as well. And in the uh, mountains, Nice as well. We'll see 63 in Glenville, 66 in Lake Isabella, and 56 in Tehachapi with winds at about 25 to 35 miles per hour. And down in the deserts, again, can't complain, right? We'll see a 72 in California City and 75 degrees in Edwards Air Force Base. So, seven day numbers, beautiful. We'll see 70 degrees on Tuesday, heating all the way up to those 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. We'll stay in those 80s on Friday as well with a high of 79 degrees on Saturday. In the Kern River forecast, beautiful week as well. We'll say it's 67 degrees on Tuesday. That wind will linger throughout Monday, and we'll see a 20% chance of rain around Lake Isabella. And then we'll heat into those mid 70s by the end of the week. Also, mountains, amazing week. We'll see 70 degrees on Wednesday with clear skies throughout the entire week with the overnight lows in those upper 40s. So, amazing. Couldn't ask for much better than that. Yeah, but please be careful for the wind. It's going to be a little bit dangerous out there on the roads. All right. Thank you, Leah.